Hello friends, welcome to another video. In this video, again, we are going to look into a matrix visual and see how we can hide or show or change columns dynamically in a matrix visual. Let me walk through a real time example here and which I came across recently with uh, working with one of my customer. And then uh, we will look into the solution as well. Let's get to Power BI. So here in Power BI, what I have is um, a, a sales by country, and then we have a sales, uh, whatever happened in the year, uh, the year we have selected, and then the sales of the previous year, and then the budget and the variance. Now the ask here was, user want to select a, to compare sales with either the previous year sales or uh, with the current year budget. So, but the, what they want to do is like they will um, select a option in a slicer and then based on that matrix visual will work. I just uh, uh, did here, uh, what I have is a, a table which is disconnected table with two options, budget, compare budget or previous year. And then based on the selection, what I'm doing is I am showing the respective uh, measure. So if budget is selected, so the total budget is showing and uh, if the previous year is selected, the total budget is blank and the sales previous year is now has the value. So what I did in these measures, i uh, just quickly show you how um, it's pretty straightforward. So like for example, in sales previous year, what I'm doing here is um, uh, if selected value is what to compare is a previous year and then give me the sales, same period last year, Otherwise, uh, it will be blank. So this is why when we go to budget, um, sales previous year goes uh, blank in that case. And similarly, in the in the total budget, uh, what I did is same condition. Uh, if the selected value is budget, then get the country budget uh, budget from the country budget table, and just show that. Now. This is working as fine, and but the problem is the column which we, if we have selected the budget, the sales previous year is still showing up in there. And if we select the previous year, the total budget column is uh, also showing there. There's no way to hide the columns or, um, you know, there's no method to, to make it work dynamically. The one way in the past, what we did was is like created a two buttons uh, and then based on the button, we go to a different bookmarks and created a multiple pages and switch to the different page. One page has a sales total budget and the variance. The other page has a sales previous year and variance and then switch back and forth. So we use bookmarks and we duplicated the pages. And the one, the drawback with that is when you make a change in one page, you have to make sure the, the change uh, is done on the other page as well. But here uh, in this video, I'm going to uh, do a solution where we don't need to create bookmarks but with the selection of the option in the uh, in the slicer uh, our matrix visual will uh, work so again calculation group is going to be our friend I've done many videos on calculation groups do check out a playlist of uh, videos on calculation groups uh, but let's let's get into the solution and see how calculation group can help in here so what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to create another a, a calculation group here. Uh, again, uh, to create a calculation group, we need to go to tabular editor. All right, so let's add a calculation group. We will call it uh, measure. And then not a good name, but uh, anyhow, let's do this. And the column name will be measure in that as well. And we will add three calculation items in this. One I will call sales. And another one I will call uh, previous year sales. And the third one I want to call is a budget. Let's make sure we rearrange those correctly. Uh, sales go on the first. And then previous year sales and budget. So when it's a sales, what we want to return is our sales measure. When it's a previous year sales, what we want to do is calculate a sales measure, same period last year, and cal calendar date, 
just to let you know, I did a series on time intelligence functions. So do check out that playlist. And then, so the sales, previous year sales, and then there's a budget would be our total budget measure. So that's what we need. And let's apply these changes. Saving to the DB. All right. So when we are back to our Power BI, refresh now. All right, so that would do it. And now let's uh, make a copy of our page. Duplicate page, our original page. So what we're going to do here is uh, for Matrix Visual, I'm going to remove all the measures which I used and just keep the sales measure. And then the calculation group, which I created called measure, I will take the measure column from that and put it on the columns. So what I have is now sales, previous year sales and the budget. So this is what it is. But right now, if I choose anything option in the compare, it is not going to make any difference um, because we haven't implemented the logic in our calculation group. So let's go back to, so this, this is working as expected. Let's go back to calculation group again. So what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to say if selected value from what to compare table, the column name is compare. And I'm going to give the default value called previous year is equal to previous year then return this same period last year otherwise it will be blank and similar logic we're going to take it to budget what we're going to do here is if selected value default values previous year if it is equal to budget then only return the total budget otherwise don't return anything all right so let's uh, see if everything worked fine here Okay, so changes are saved. Let's go back to Power BI. Okay, here you go. So now if previous year is selected, so we're seeing sales and the previous year sales. When we go to budget, we are seeing the sales and the budget and and it's working as expected. So we are, we does not have a, we don't have that blank column in there. So depending on what we're selecting, the column name is correct. And also the extra column is not in the matrix visual. So this is working. And one last thing we can add into this one is variance. So what we can do here is add new calculation item, call it variance. So that will be simple, our sales minus, we're going to reuse uh, our um, uh, calculation. Item here, so that will be measure that's the name of the calculation group and this is the name of the column in that and then that will be previous year sales because that has the logic and minus uh, subtract uh, total budget and this would be and budget why we multiple subtraction because either there is a value is going to be into this uh, calculation item or in this calculation item because depending on what the selection we do in the slicer so there's never going to be a value in both of these ones if there is a case of that then we will tweak this measure um, but for now we have a, a single selection on our slicer so it would work so let's uh, apply these changes perfect so we will see the refresh now Here you go. So now we have a variance here. Sales minus budget is what the variance is. And uh, 1.1 million minus 1 million. And so there is a surplus. In this case, there is a less. So if I go previous year, now my sales is same, but my previous year sale is 2.1 million. And then this is a, a oh, 2.2 uh, plus. And in this way, 1.1. And then my previous year sale is only 300,000. And this is, this is what the variance is. So I can now switch between budget and the previous year. So this now matrix visual is more user friendly and has only relevant columns showing up in there, which are dynamically changing uh, based on the selection. 
here you go uh, we have a solution where we we have a based on the selection whether we want to compare our sales with the previous year sales or with the budget and we don't we can now we can choose what uh, column we want to show in matrix visual and also heading of the columns is actually what what we are selecting in the uh, in the comparison instead of just a, a saying sales and sales compared I hope you find this video useful. This this has been asked many, many times on Power BI Community Forum in general uh, with calculation groups and returning the blank value uh, is, is, is our solution. Uh, let me know what you think about this video. Uh, do subscribe my channel and always looking forward for your feedback. Um, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye for now. Thank you.